Now let's move on to the third area, which is the internal control. So with the background already of or as previously previously discussed about ethics and fraud, let's now examine the internal control concepts and techniques for dealing with these problems. So di ba kabaw na sa mga problems, so isang mga mga fraudulent schemes, di ba? Now, internal control or internal control system comprises of policies, practices, and procedures employed by the company to achieve these objectives. First, is to safeguard the assets of the firm. Okay, di ba? As discussed earlier, ngatong sa fraud section, it's na ba misappropriation of assets. So, how do we protect our assets or safeguard our assets? Next, is to ensure accuracy and reliability of accounting records and information because again as mentioned earlier na tong financial statement na fraud diba and then third is to promote efficiency of the firm's operations and lastly to measure compliance with management's prescribed policies and procedures so even though there are policies and procedures. Maskin mo ingo na si management diha na no stealing. Pero di ba wala ka kabaw kung nagcomply bagay di mo ang employees anang no stealing na policy, di ba? So you need to see to it that there is compliance. So what our what are the assumptions? Modifying assumptions so the internal control objectives. So we have. These. First is the management responsibility. So, this concept holds that the establishment and maintenance of a system of internal control is a management responsibility. So, which was um, highlighted in the SOX legislation or the Surveillance Oxley. So, meaning, si management ang na responsibility nga tanawon or sito it nga nasunod yun na or naagay internal control sa imuhang business. Kaya in the end, mabalik rabi agihapon na sa mabalik rabi agihapon na sa management. Sorry. Next is reasonable assurance. So, the internal control system should provide reasonable assurance that the four broad objectives of internal control, katang gimension ganiha, are met in a cost-effective manner. So, this means that no system of internal control is perfect and then the cost of achieving improved control should not outweigh its benefits. So, cost-benefit analysis, gihapunta. And then, another assumption is the methods of data processing. So, internal controls should achieve the four broad objectives regardless of the data processing method. The control techniques used to achieve these objectives will, however, vary with different types of technology. So, dapat mo adapt sa gyud ang imong internal control measures or the system with however technology ng imong gi gamit kay para mas makasure gyud ka nga effective na ang internal control ng imong gi apply. So, we have the limitations of internal control. So, every system of internal control has limitations of its or on its effectiveness. So, this include the possibility of honest error, meaning there is no system that is perfect. So, there will always be in one way or another, you might encounter an error in your system. So, that is a room for improvement and you should apply corrective measures. Now, circumvention via collusion, um, this happens when personnel may circumvent the system. So, they will find a way para makakumit ga po ng fraud ba. So, they try to work with the system by or try to avoid the controls in the system by colluding with the person assigned sa system or kung kisa may nai-access anak like your data administration data administrators or your system admins diba so they collude with them so that their fraudulent scheme may be successful or when one limitation is the management override wherein management is in a position to override control procedures by personally distorting transactions 
or by directing a subordinate to do so or kato akong gimension or gidiscuss sa management fraud. And then, last um, limitation is the changing condition. So, especially in companies with high growth wherein conditions may change over time so that existing controls may become ineffectual. So, mauna siya ang giingon ganihas sa katong assumption na dapat your internal control should be flexible and for it to be effective is dapat mo-adapt siya with whatever technology you are changing. So, that includes if there are changes in the conditions of the company.